Of all the grand stadia in world football, none more impressive than this. A very warm welcome to all of you from the San Siro in Milan. The teams then, AC Milan against Tottenham. I'm Peter Drury and providing analysis and expert opinion alongside me will be Jim Beckley. Thanks for that, Peter, and may I say a big hello to everyone. Look at them now. things running who do you think this turns on Jim well I'd say the ability of Christian Eriksen makes him the standout player he plays as a free spirit with license to roam to his liking across the attacking third of the pitch a craftsman and a very smart free kick taker too yeah I'd have picked him too no doubt the fans feel much the same way and it's K Dembele Plays a clever pass. Oh, too much weight on that. Kuchka. Polly. Bonaventura. Now it's Baka. Dembele. It can only get better, this. We haven't seen a shot yet, and I'm hoping that when we do, it'll spark a whole series of them, because it needs livening up. Honda, plotting from out on the right-hand side, Abate looking for options, looks to slip it through, he's in space and looking for options, back out with a shot! And he's there to hoof it away. Kuchka. Dembele. Dyer. Lamella. Dyer. That's a throw. Forward it goes. Dembele. Balls come loose, and the chase is on. Honda tries to swing it in. Federico Fazio can hoist it clear. Lamella. K. Needs a bit of penetration to go with all this possession. Who's going to make this theirs? Bacco with a shot! It's in! Look, there are always tactical adjustments for any coach to make at half-time, but when your star man gives you a critical lead just before the break, everyone will be paying extra attention. It really is the ideal tonic.
Milan get themselves into the lead. Listen, it's no surprise. There's the whistle for half time. I'm sure they'll be very happy with their first half performance and the scoreline. They'll definitely want to maintain their momentum now and finish the job. Milan leading 1 0 at the break. Here we go again then. Milan carry a one goal lead into the second half. And it's Lamella. Eriksson tries lifting it over. And behind for a goal kick. Christian Eriksson. There's a lot to the possibilities, but in the end it's fruitless. Dembele. Chadley. Federico Fazio. Milan are ahead here by what is still the only goal. Dembele. They've scored near to half-time to give them a 1-0 lead. Honda. Unable to make it happen for all his good intentions. Eriksson. Chadley. With the ball through. Milan. Yet to make a change here. Bonaventura. Antonelli pumps it upfield. A chance! Keeper turns it behind. Well, that was a really awkward move for the goalkeeper to deal with. Lamella. And it's Lamella. Dembele. 75 minutes played. Tries a through ball. Now it's Baca. Carlos Baca! Oh, and that should have been two. Yeah, he knew only too well that to concede then would have been tough to recover from. That could prove a big moment in this game. Danger. That's a throw. Tottenham have a sub ready to come on. Well, his stamina was called into question then, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and, and the efforts he put in. He was very willing, though, not quite able. Still just that single goal, and we are nearly done. Kay. Dembele. Chip through. Played out wide. And that's left him on the seat of his pants. Just a few more moments for them to hang on. Played out to the right. And the ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. It's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. This lane on, they need to be pushing forward if they're going to get a result. Dyer. Now the pass. It's Baka! Great ball to play him in, but he will be gutted to miss that. Oh, he can't be happy missing that after the put clean through. That's about as good a chance as you can get. Kutschka! Decent attempt, but... Quite good enough. And there goes the final whistle. What a game. End to end, it flew by, and in the end, it all came down to just the odd goal. Look, it's a very fine win, but for me, the defence has been terrific in holding on to that lead. That's where we have to end it. From me, Peter Drury, and my co-commentator, Jim Beglin, a very good evening to you all.